Hello everybody and welcome to Boku Ben We Never Learn episode whatever we're on, 9? I think we're on 9. It is a great day today. I don't know why, but it, but it is. Let's just go with that. I'm in a good mood, if you couldn't tell. This episode was solid. Best girl got more screen time. That's that's sensei, by the way. Uh, what else happened? Man, would we, should, we, should we just get into it? Before that, actually, I should probably say that, for right now at least, this will now be going out on a Sunday instead of a Monday because Attack on Titan got delayed, so I didn't have anything on a Sunday. I could pull this forward, and, you know, whatever. I could just mix things about. It works fine. So, yeah. So, the episode begins with Yuiga studying while he walks, which is not something I can say I've ever seen anyone do, but I would, I believe it. Uh, actually, I have seen someone do that on the test day. People cramming last minute as they walk. To school. I've seen that. I, I actually have seen that. Uh, I, as I said before, I was a bad student, didn't study, so it wasn't me. But uh, as he walks past Sensei's, I was going to say office, apartment, she grabs him and is like, please come help. Go into our apartment, and uh, it's full of rubbish. She's made a lot of trash already, as you Americans say. Tra trash is a good word. I wish we said it here in England. Uh, and then there's a cockroach that she's scared of, and she's like, don't leave. I'll do anything if you don't leave. And I'm like, oh, hi, I've seen this video before. I know where this is going. It, it, where they, where they studied, you know. It, it wasn't anything juicy. Uh, what happened then? He got hungry after studying for many hours. And so she ordered takeaway or whatever. Takeaway arrives. It's, it's Ogata. She arrives, drops the thing. And I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Amazing the things you forget. But, uh, yeah, I, I like this part. The sensei being absolutely terrified of the cockroach. It was very funny. And, uh, yeah, she's she's best girl. Uh, I don't know if anyone's going to disagree with me on that. Probably, but I think she's best girl. We've still got a few episodes le left. I like all of them, really. Saying that, I don't dislike any of them. So that's, that's a good thing, I guess. That's a positive thing this show does. Because usually I dislike at least one person. But no, they're all pretty likeable in this one. So that's good. Ogata then decides to come eat their takeaway with them. Like, she eats food as well. Like, I don't think that's how... Like, a pizza delivery guy doesn't just come to your house and have a bit of the pizza. But whatever. Uh, so then they're all sitting at the table together. Sensei gets changed incredibly quickly. Quickly. At some point. Uh, and then he has... This great plan to, I'm going to make them get along better, yeah. So they play some card games, not like Yu-Gi-Oh! And I think that would be pretty funny, and also copyright. Uh, but Ogata sucks, obviously, and then Sensei upsets her by saying, like, you're not very good at this, don't try it, or whatever. Uh, and then he gives Ogata a little bit of a pep talk while Sensei leaves to make tea or something. He's like, hey, I know someone likes you and all that. Basically, it sounds like he's confessing, and then... He's not actually, so then she gets annoyed at him. And I was like, yeah, the joke was pretty obvious, but it was still pretty funny. Cannot complain about that, can you? All of a sudden, there is then a scream. It's Sensei. She jumps on Yuiga as he comes to come help. Uh, and it's... Ogata sees them as, like, you know, evil face. Like, you know, not the word. What's the word? You can't be a student and a teacher and shag. That's basically what she was thinking. Uh, but no, it was just a cockroach. And uh, Ogata pretty much just rolls up a newspaper, click, kills it, because obviously, because she works at a restaurant, and of course that's a thing that they have to deal with. Again, makes sense, and I was like, alright, yeah. Then, you know, they leave and everything, and Ogata's like, I think I understand her a little bit better now, and he's like, my mission was not a complete failure. And I was like, okay, solid first half of the episode. It had some character development, I guess, which is always nice. Uh, had some uh, some fluff. There was some uh, best girl screen time. There was a lot of stuff happened. I don't. I have a lot to say. It was re it was good. This first half. Second half was good as well. But it was good in a completely different way, which you know we're about to get to. The setup for this next part is Yuiga's mum is sick because I don't know she's just sick. I thought it was his sister at first. It's his mum because we find out later on. So he decides I'm gonna go cover her shift at the shop she works at. It's a ladies' underwear shop and he's a boy, which is you know. Entertaining teenage boy. I was like, okay, this is pretty funny and it plays out exactly how I pretty much expected it to It doesn't make it not funny though So uh, he gets put into a mask. Okay, no, I didn't see a mascot suit coming But he get, gets into a mascot suit gets trapped in there because the manager leaves because her daughter is also sick There must be an illness bug or something going around that town because you know His mum got sick as well probably the same thing or maybe 
the manager's daughter is his mum's. Whoa. Time travel nonsense. Uh, but yeah, then he's trapped in the suit. The only one in the store. He can't get his suit off, you know. I feel like you should have more employees than that, maybe. Maybe have enough employees for your, the job you're doing. Uh, but then who rolls up? It's Ogata and not Furuhashi, the other one, Takemoto. So Ogata needs to get a new bra, she needs to get her boobs measured. I have no idea if, you know, I clearly do, do not need my boobs measured, so I, I have no idea how much of a problem that is. I assume it is because I've worn tight clothes before and that's pretty bad, so I imagine it's a similar deal. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, fair enough. But he's like, okay, I can't do that, obviously, because I am their friend, it would feel bad, and I'm in this disguise. Let me just try and get my suit off. Can't reach the zip. So then Takamoto's like, don't worry, I'll help you. Not help him get the suit off, though. That would be... Yeah, that would make sense. Help him measure the, the bra, the boobs. And it's... It causes a crisis in his brain. I can't remember what the number was, but... I assume it was big. Great content you get here. Uh, and also then Takamoto's like, hey, what do you think... She doesn't say Yuiga, but she's like, what do you think Yuiga would like? And she holds up two, and he's like, that one. And I'm like, okay, okay, that's... That's, kind of, that's almost nice, but it's still a bit creepy, but, you know, it's just, a, it's, a, it's a real anime situation, isn't it? This whole second half of the episode. It would never happen in real life. It would never happen. And I watch everyone be like, actually, my sister's cousin's dog's owner, this happened to. What am I on about? Just, uh, as he's walking past the changing room now, and who is there? Of course it's Sensei. Sensei's in there, she's like, hey, help me unhook a bra. And uh, so he does, and uh, he, he gets a full-on boob, boob view. I don't... Lucky guy, I guess. But how could you... Like, I'm just trying to think. If that was me, and I saw my teacher, and the thing fell off away, I would never be able to look at them the same. I'd be like, I could never focus in class. I could never even... I mean, I don't have been to school in years, but I could not. I could just only imagine how badly that would affect everything like because obviously do you tell people you can't really tell people oh I, don't, I just don't know i don't know what you do in that situation i like how i'm trying to put a realistic spin on the events that have happened this episode like it's it doesn't need a realistic spin what am i thinking what am i on about who knows i don't do you know i, I mean i do but let's move on so furahashi shows up next because of course she does and the reason she came alone is because she's flatter than the other two and i was like Saw that coming, that's a logical reason. Thumbs up, I guess. Uh, and she's pretty open with what she's buying. She's like, hey, you know, employee, here's what I'm doing. Can you help me with this and everything? Of course, the employee is Yuiga, but she doesn't know that because he's still wearing the bear suit or whatever. But she gets her stuff and goes into the, you know, changing room. Uh, takes a little bit. Manager comes back. I'm just making sure I haven't forgot anything on my notes. Uh, yeah, manager comes back, takes the suit off for him. She comes out of the changing room, sees it's him and her face is, I think she says like God is dead or something, I'm like whoa, come on, you don't want to upset the Christians and all that, but yeah, very, um, I don't really know what to say, very realistic, I guess, no, not even real, that's not what I meant at all, why am I talking, I keep saying words, help me, very, at what you'd expect response, because it was like smile to, oh no, I can never leave my house again. I think I've had those moments where it's like, oh, I can't ever leave, go outside anymore. It's, of course, you're overreacting because you're a kid, but yeah, that's a lot of anecdotes in this episode. Me talk about, I should just do, I should just talk about my school life. Hey, let's not do that. Small post-credit scene with Yuiga buying a crepe for Furuhashi to apologize and everything. She says, "You're lucky it was me and not the other two. And he's like, "Uh, why is it lucky it was you and not the other two? She's like, "Can't tell you. Made in secret and all that." So, I guess we're still rolling off she doesn't like him, but she she does, but she doesn't realise, she, or she's denying that she likes him because of the other two. Fine, you know? I feel like that's probably the the final episode. She's like, oh wait, I do like him, and then they all realise they like him. Including the teacher, because... Uh, come on, she's the best girl. Don't argue. It's true. It's true. Anyway, yeah, like I said, this was a solid, solid episode, I thought. Uh, I think I preferred the first half. That might have just been because Sensei was in it more. The second half was still good, enjoyable, entertaining, but it's like... I think I like when they like add things instead of just, hey, here's some fluff characters doing things. 
It was still good. I'm not. Sounds like I'm complaining. I f okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm trying to find things to complain about because I'm a very positive person, and I'm sure people will get annoyed if I don't mention any negatives whatsoever. So there, that's where we're at. I will see you next week for another episode. Episode ten will reach double digits next week. Uh, bye, guys.